Haven't we already seen the dirty activities of the warmonger Putin, the power-hungry leader of Russia? Things are just turning worse as Ukraine is reeling under the disastrous effects of Russia's lethal attack. But wait, in the wake of the deadly activities going around us, it seems there is no escape from the trap of getting bonded by World War III. Or is it? Seems like yes. After all, NASA's James Webb Telescope is speculated to spy on Russia and thus protect the people of Ukraine from getting slaughtered mercilessly. Curious to know more about the James Webb Telescope and see if it can bring any relief to the plight of the Ukrainians? Well, just keep watching. With that being said, welcome to Space News Unfold. Let's now get into the discussion, shall we? Do you know that the James Webb Telescope is literally the largest one ever built by NASA? And, it is one of its grand creations. But whether it will be used for spying purposes, no one knows. Since it is a rather new discovery in the space world, everyone is just way too excited to know if it can be used for humanitarian grounds, that is, rescue the innocent people of Ukraine from the deadly clutches of Russia. After all, no one wants a third world war, right? But things just don't seem to stop here. What do you think? Is the James Webb Telescope going to be a saver in these tumulting times? Well, before we unveil the answer to this query, let's share with you an important fact that the JWST also known as the James Webb Space Telescope, is considered to be a successor to the Hubble Telescope. And, you know what? The Hubble Telescope was also believed to function as a spy telescope. But, do you know why the predecessor of the JWST was not used for spying upon other countries' activities? because the Hubble was mainly designed to unravel important theories and discoveries in the field of astronomy. Moreover, its optics and other instrumentation settings are not suited for terrestrial surveillance. So, isn't it obvious that it can't come up with secretive information about a nation's whereabouts? But, the JWST, being a successor to the Hubble, is fated to have several other advanced powers and functions. Oh, did we say that the JWST has been crafted in a way to focus on the infrared rays spectrum varying from 0.6 to 28 microns? Unlike Hubble, the James Webb Telescope won't be able to focus on UV or ultraviolet light. But, the JWST is fated to concentrate more on the highly illuminating objects such as galaxies, no matter how far they are located in the universe. Does that mean the JWST will succeed in teaching Russia a lesson by disclosing all the violent policies of the warmonger Putin to the world at large? Maybe, or maybe not. No one seems to acknowledge its spying attribute, probably to stay on the safer side. Things are not that clear at the moment, and no one seems to come out clear when things concern this aspect. But, give this thing a thought. A spacecraft like the JWST, that has been designed to unravel the great mystery of our universe and dig up crucial information about the far-off galaxies, can be endowed with the great power to spy over countries. And, this seems quite credible. So, we can say that the arrival of the JWST is actually a blessing in disguise, isn't it? While talking about the spying activity on Russia, we just can't do away with the WFIRST satellite. After all, it was the very satellite that was designed to spy on Russia. First or Wide Field Infrared Survey Telescope and the James Webb Telescope, or the JWST, are almost similar, but they have certain distinct goals. Both these spacecraft are dedicated to unleashing mystifying facts about the stars and the galaxy. It is believed that both these inventions of NASA possess great potential to keep a proper secretive look over all the stealthy activities of Russia. Just imagine how awesome it is going to be if the James Webb Telescope starts functioning as a spy satellite. A great number of lives could have been saved then. And, most importantly, the world could have averted the risk of the possibility of the disastrous event of the Third World War. NASA has to act first if it decides to use JWST for spying purposes. While the WFIRST has the potential to trace and discover the presence of the mysterious dark matter, the JWST is believed to be more powerful than the WFIRST. So, we don't see why the James Webb Space Telescope won't be a good fit for acting like a magnifying glass into the secret devastating conspiracies of the war-loving Putin-led Russia. It is a bit disappointing to see that the WFIRST, which was developed to spy on Russia, has now drifted from its immediate goal to hunt for dark matter instead. As much as sources reveal, the WFIRST is now going to be used for spying and keeping a close watch over the nearby planets, stars, and other bodies in space. 
Oh, did we say that it is also going to be used as a planet-finding telescope? What is literally awesome is that the WFIRST is now going to take atmospheric measurements of the Jupiter to Neptune planets. Wondering why are we talking about all these? Well, this will soon make sense because the WFIRST was actually fated to be used against Russia, but later this didn't prove to be fruitful. So, what is the guarantee that NASA will deploy the James Webb Telescope against Russia? But, do you know what is the twist in the tale? Well, you are yet to find it out. Let's have a look at this aspect now. Undoubtedly, it is NASA that has invested itself into this great project, but do you think NASA can do that for real? Can this leading space organization use it as a space vehicle for leaking out the lethal plans of Russia? The answer slides more on the side of a no. To know why, we need to look deeper into the James Webb project. Were you aware of the fact that the JWST is actually the product of a joint venture and mutual efforts of various leading organizations, and not solely the fruit of NASA's labor? What happened is that the total cost of production and assemblage got divided among three space agencies, NASA, the Canadian Space Agency, and the European Space Agency. And guess what? These agencies are monitored and supported by as many as 14 nations. And, yes, Russia is one of these 14 countries. In fact, Russia had already signed a dual-party space agreement with the US. And, since the signing of the agreement, both the nations had worked on a few space-related projects cordially. Yes, you have guessed it right. The James Webb Telescope is a part of the dual project. However, with the onset of the Russia-Ukraine war, things are predicted to go astray. Because, as we already know, the two nations are opposing each other's notions, so we are not sure if the JWST can be used against its parent country Russia. Things are quite ambiguous, and we don't know if there is a clear yes or no to the great question mark we have been made to face today. We don't know if a civilian agency like that of NASA can even use its grand telescope to do some secretive acts. Yes, of course, spying upon Russia seems to be crucial at this juncture to save innocent lives. But whether this is going to materialize in reality, we really don't know. Though the government had offered NASA a couple of obsolete spy telescopes having several advanced features that are not even possessed by the Hubble, we are yet to find out if NASA is putting its efforts and intensive research output into designing a highly sophisticated spy satellite. As a result, things seem to be wrapped in the curtain of mystery and uncertainty, because we too aren't sure if NASA is going to use the JWST as a spy satellite against Russia. The James Webb Telescope has great potential to be used as a spy satellite. Let's hope for the best, and keep our fingers crossed. We guess it is just a matter of time before we get our hands on the ultimate results of this entire thing. If it happens, it will happen for good. Let's see what NASA's future actions are in this respect. So, let us just watch and wait. So, did you find this video interesting enough? What is your take on this? Will NASA deploy the JWST against Russia? Let us know your views in the comment section. Also, if you found this video enchanting, do press the like and subscribe button to stay notified of the new video releases. See you soon in our brand new, exciting video.